All right, guys, we're back here with uh, part two of our candle making series. This is Ryan with Western Maryland Bushcraft, and uh, our candle, where the little kink was, still uh, starting to cool. So we're gonna straighten it up a little bit more, and we'll take it and dip it back in our wax again. Now that we're getting starting to get a base uh, for our candle, it's actually starting to uh, set up a little bit better here. As you can see, we're starting to get a little build up of wax on here. That's what we want. You don't want to dip it too fast, or you'll, uh, or you'll start to actually take layers off, which is not what you want to do. Once, if you get a little bit too much wax at the bottom here, just pinch it off, drop it right back in your little pot of wax, and uh, the wax it'll stay liquid quite a while as it starts to cool it starts to build up on the candles a little bit more so there's a little sweet spot there with the temperature of the wax that you want if you can keep it at that longer it's much better because your candle making go a lot faster there's also uh, candle molds you can buy from places like uh, Jazz Townstead they have the candle molds and stuff and uh, a lot of uh, like Joanne Fabrics and stuff like that uh, Michaels they sometimes have the stick candle molds and they'll actually have actual camp candle wicking I found jute works just as good as that it just doesn't really matter you can make it out of any uh, natural fibers and once you start to get drips that are really long on here and you can get them while they're still wet you can start to flatten the bottom of your candle out We're starting to get a decent build up here on our candle probably a quarter of the way there Once you get a heavy couple layers that are uh, waiting to cool, you just stick it back on your little stand. It comes in handy quite a bit. And um, with a dollar fifty worth of jute twine and the the wax that I get, I get it from a family friend. It's about uh, five dollars per pound. I'm using two pounds, but two pounds will probably get you twenty candles at the size that we're going to make one today. And uh, as the wax is cooling, I'm st still straightening the candle here. Got a little bug on me. Take and toss him off. You want to have a decent supply of firewood if it's cold out, so you can keep your fire going while you're doing this, because it's quite a lengthy process, and you'll probably need to wax melt your wax at least once during the process. There we go. We got a another coat on there. You can generally do it in two or three coats at a time before you actually start losing coats from the wax being too liquid and running back off. So there's two. Give it one more and then we'll stick it over here on our cooling rack. You can do the same process here with tallow. Well, I actually, I have one in my pack that when we do part three, I'll bring in a couple examples of poured and uh, a tallow candle that I actually did and I'll probably burn the tallow candle a little bit to give you guys a uh, burn demonstration on a tallow candle I'll do another video later on in a lighting series that this is part of that uh, we're gonna continue did the shot the Crisco candle earlier today that uh, pretty interesting video I hope you guys uh, watch that one as well all right, and uh, if you actually feel the candle, once you get have done this a couple times, you'll be able to feel when it's cool enough that you can start adding another set. You can actually tell by color too. The top here, where it's thinner, is actually getting more yellow than the center, where it's cooling less slow, less uh, not well, not as fast. Give it another two dunks, and then we'll get on to part three so we don't run over our time and can't get these uploaded as fast to you guys. Probably about three, or not three quarters, um, probably three eighths of the way there to our candle being done. You can do more than one on one stick and just dip them twice at two at a time as well to uh, increase your volume, 
but for this video I didn't feel that was necessary to make two at a time could uh, add one on there later on to show you guys as well might do that in part three all right this has been Ryan with uh, Western Maryland bushcraft please uh, if you like what you see please comment subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up if you can and uh, have a good day this is me out see you guys